hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're meeting me for the very first time you're welcome if you're returning subscriber thank you for always stopping by thank you for always checking so you guys another beautiful day here and i'm making <laughs> calabas style of italy i don't know why i'm sweating now anyway i just came back kai you guys can you guys see just the head i made it's not even up to you a week you'll see how rough the hair look yeah that's why i said my hair is very 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 stubborn yeah. But anyway, guys, um, that is what is going to happen in this video. So let's go to the kitchen and get this soup ready. I think, um, the way the soup take the hungry me, eh? I can't wait to finish. So, so let me quickly rush and can cook. The, you know, say the soup doesn't work time. So let me just quickly go and cook. So come with me to the kitchen. Let's go and prepare calabar style of bitter leaf soup. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> let's go. So guys, inside the pot, I have my proteins. I have one more. I have intestine i have stock fish and some cow flesh so guys and the stock fish i'm actually using is a very strong one so i couldn't see the head part or the cut part because the market i used just a nearby market so and it's a low budget soup so i have my pepper yellow pepper and red pepper i love the combinations and i love chopping my pepper raw so i also have my onions already chopped and I love adding a lot of onions when it comes to anything vegetable soup. So I added my seasoning that is not seasoning, chicken is not seasoning, and one chef maggi. Okay, I added my salt for text. So and I stirred. Yeah, I was actually using my the other hand to hold my phone. So I'm actually using one hand to stare so that is why it seems as if i'm not turning it very well but i tried to make sure that everything is well combined so i can cover it and allow it to boil and bring water if you watch very well down the pot i didn't add water because i needed it to bring water on it so that it can be able to have test the meat when you chop the meat you see this and also bring normal um water for the soup so this is the water that come out from the the boiling mix so and because of what i leave has a lot of water on its own so I didn't really add water. So I went in with my my pala fish already deboned and also my crayfish already chopped to my taste. So I already pounded it and I, I used my hand to dissolve my business now Sanigbo girl. Sanigbo babe, there's no I'm going to make any delicious soup. Any soup that I'm not going to add local seasoning. Oh wait. Alright, so yeah. But not try to say uh, what is it called? There's another Yuru. Yeah, that one used to be like I don't know not try the ruby they say that one is always tastes very very sweet too so maybe one says i'm going to try it it's always good for you to try not but anyway this is what i usually use. this is what this meat has been okay actually dissolved on its own because after i added it i covered it and it boiled for like eight to two minutes you know that all this um intestine usually come with a very strong it usually is a very strong so that is it i set that aside and i'm trying to heat up my oil so i can be able to fry my onions and also put other things yeah so that is it and in there is the meat that i said this is only water that come all the meat i boiled and i have my what uh, sorry i have my water leaf have my water leaf you guys can see that that water leaf is rough you guys i didn't actually did it myself so that is why you guys can see that I, it is not even that tiny uh, but anyway i'm not cooking for like you know just for family stuff so that is it so and i fried my onions i have to stay so guys i am not staring this very well i am using my left hand to hold my phone while i use my right hand to turn so that is why you guys can see that it is not actually going as expected but anyway the most important is that everything combined together for i covered and i light like and bring more water all right if you know you know what this comes in with a lot of water water leaf it has a lot of water on its own so this is what it looks like i covered it and it poured and brought a lot of water on its own so i'm going to be adding my bitter leaf see as of this point you guys this soup was ready this soup was ready but for you to make it that calabasta you have to add bitter leaf all right so this is me adding the bitter leaf and i actually wash the bitter leaf myself like anytime i'm trying to cook soup that is not really my type of soup i like just doing everything myself i got the fresh vegetable leaf one the um bitter leaf the fresh one i squeeze it myself i boil it myself make sure that there's no sign because i wouldn't want a situation whereby i will 
finish cooking this soup and i'll be chopping sand or something like that so i don't want any obstacle that i wouldn't want to um that wouldn't allow me to have the soup the way i'm craving it so i did that myself and this is what the soups look like like this soup was given everything understanding is on aside the soup was souping eh? the aroma alone is something and it came out so yummy i just feel the oil the water was actually a little bit, um bigger than the soup but then because of the drain the dryness of the, the leaf i think it was okay because actually i'm going to still use it to feed my kids sometimes you know the children they don't actually eat leaf mostly just the water from the soup that they usually eat so actually when i take turned turned i found that there's little water instead i was like okay nothing happened the water so let me just go ahead and stir my stove and it was everything so you can use any protein of your choice you can use you can use goat meat you can use chicken you can use snail like oh my god but this is a low budget soup all right so and one thing about this soup is that it's very affordable you can actually use whatever you have to cook just like normal soup that is one thing about our delicacy all this our local dishes everything anything you have you can actually use gravy anything you have just and it will still be very nutritious that is one thing because you see there is water leaf in there already there's bitter leaf there's protein so i think everything is giving so all these things are very affordable very cheap and ask my baby girl to get up for me because the, i told you guys earlier that i was craving the soup and i needed to eat it with apple six to six so that it will stay in my body like till tomorrow if i'm not mistaken so anyway guys and almost you see the way they cook apple here is something else so what i do is whenever i buy apple what i do is i used to put water in my pot i'll boil it like five minutes and before i can eat it i don't usually just buy apple and eat it like that because at times i feel like it is not that well prepared because i did and was not there and i'm not the one that I do so what i do i'll just put it inside together with that line loan i'll boil it and i'll bring it out and eat my thing so if you guys look down down there you guys will get to see that my children are there waiting for me they were disturbing mommy come and feed us mommy want to eat so see my baby girl she was actually holding her slippers so i don't know whether she was waiting for me mommy be fast so that i can eat so this is what the soup looks like like see it was actually so beautiful and delicious and inviting so i don't know what what you think about the soup or this is what the soup like it's a very affordable and very cheap soup so anybody can make this soup like it's very 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 affordable and cheap and the taste is something as i love the part that it's when you eat the soup it will have that bitter taste that bitter aspect of the soup is what makes it so different just like i found soup but because of the little uh, the the little bitterness from the bitter leaf so the soup was everything thank you guys for watching thank you for always sharing me thank you for always checking up on me i love you and i'm going to see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye i love you Mwah.